Well, I guess most of what I knew about ticks, or thought I knew about ticks, were myths. I thought that if it was below freezing for quite a period of time that they die out. Well, no, it has to be below 10 degrees Fahrenheit for a long time for them to start to die out. That's how cold it has to get. And do I really want to be out in that temperature? Hmm. And if I did want to film it, uh, uh, would I want to expose my camera to that? Well, I do have a warranty on it. It does cover that kind of thing, so, you know, that'd be all right. But, you know, and I could, I could do that. I could deal with that. But does it get that cold here for that long? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. There's this uh, chemical called permethrin that uh, you can get clothing that has that in it. Well, I'd rather not be around those chemicals. I do have a tendency to have a massive sensitivity to chemicals. So, yeah, probably not. People are, oh, well, wear, some, wear off that has DEET in it. Yeah, that makes me sick. I, I, get, I literally get sick from that. I, I'd rather not be around that. And there are some things like this. There are some protective clothing that one can get. Here's another example. I don't know whether it comes in my size. It says it, it comes all the, goes to extra, extra large, but uh, I don't know whether that would be big enough for me because I wear a 3X. Um, there's that kind of option. Now, on the, the positive, or the thing, something that I thought was true was a myth, uh, is the idea that they fall from trees. No, they don't fall from trees. They crawl up. And once they get access to skin, then they'll continue to crawl up. And that's their thing. I, I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that, you know, get some jeans, duct tape the jeans to the boots, tuck the shirt into the pants, and uh, duct tape the sleeves to of, of either the shirt or the jacket to the gloves. And I guess they give up after a very short time when they just run into a clothing barrier. So there's that. I, I hope that's really the case. Though I see a lot of places saying, well, no, that doesn't still doesn't guarantee you're not going to get bit. It's like, well, it sucks. It sucks a lot. And uh, I went to karaoke last week. I was very disappointed in how some places that, you know, are non-smoking, it's, it's quotation marks, non-smoking. Because when the restaurant section will close and kids are no longer allowed to be in there, then they can decide, oh, well, we, we can, we're going to just turn this into a smoking area now. So the place that I went last, about 26 minutes away, um, after the restaurant closed, uh, the bartender of that section, there's three sections. There's there's the restaurant, there's the, the section they have karaoke, and then there's the, the bar bar section that had bar bar, that has a door that closes and such. And of course, there are the smokers who don't give a shit about anyone else who will, who will stand in that doorway with a cigarette uh, looking at the karaoke, but the worst part was the the restaurant section. You know, as soon as that the, the the kids are out of there, the bartender there starts to smoke. It's like, oh, that's that's so lovely. And when I started getting bombarded with cigarette smoke, I just left. I was there for about only in about an hour and a half, and I left. And of course, they have the middle door closed, uh, locked, so you can't leave via the middle door. So you have to go through a smoke cauldron in either direction. I don't know whether that's the way. There's there's two other bars that are that are this that that have that are supposedly non-smoking. Maybe they're truly non-smoking. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> they can just decide to change that on a whim because I mean they're the business owners, so they can you know do what they want as far as that goes, and I can choose not to go there. But uh, I am looking forward very very much to the indoor public smoking ban expanding to bars, which is supposed to happen over the next year, and then I'll have a little more things to do. But nature stuff, thats that's been my meat and potatoes for so long, and the idea that I can't really enjoy it sucks. It's, it's really disappointing to me. It's not like I want to move. It's not something that makes me want to move. I'm just glad to have my own place. And even if I can't do much, anyway... <sighs> 